Hello and welcome to Jubilee Road for another model locomotive review. In today's review we'll be looking at the all new DAPOL double O gauge LSWR B4 040 steam locomotive. Gosh guys that's quite a mouthful for such a small locomotive. So I've been really looking forward to these. I pre-ordered it quite some time ago and I know I believe they've been well coming since 2014 I believe when they first announced so quite some time so today then as usual we're going to have a detailed look at the model see the running qualities and a conclusion at the end <clears throat> to see if the model is any good or not but I'm guessing this one will be so then let's show you the uh, end of the box so we can see exactly what we got here we go LSWR B4 040 now I, I don't know that name was, is that Kian or Can or I don't know so sorry guys I'm probably going to pronounce that wrong and it's in brown and number 90. Now straight away Dapol's packaging is always really really good quality I would say it's probably the best quality packaging that we uh, that we see really solid construction and that's what we want. So we just get the top off the box and get rid of that. So first off then we have basically, well it is, the owner's manual. And this is probably one of the nicest owner's manual I think I've seen. You can see it there, really nice quality, nice colour, you've got the outline of the model. And it is very, very well, it's got 12 pages full of information about the model. You can see it just there, an exploded diagram which again, if you turn it that way, it's all in colour. This is how a lesson in how to do it, guys. This is really quite nice. So yeah, good owner's manual there. So here we go, we got some foam protecting the model on the top. And then as usual, the model is surrounded by foam in the ice cube packaging as well. So if we just, slowly comes out. Right, if we get rid of the outer box, And then we just slide that off as usual. Ah, we do have a little detailing bag. Oh, that's interesting. That's all we that's what we get. I've never ever seen those style of couplings before. Really unusual. I, I let me know guys, have you ever seen them? Because I haven't. There's no detail in pack in this model because it's already fitted, which is good, but I'm not sure if I would be using them. I'm not sure why you'd want to use these instead of the slim lines. I don't know. Let me go. No, guys, in the comments. Bit unusual, but okay. Now we just lift this. Oh gosh, that's a bit. Oh, gonna have to be careful here. Wow, that is proper in there. Ah, there we go. That is proper stuck in there. And there's the loco. Oh, that looks so good, guys really really impressed with this right as usual then let's get it on one of the tracks and take a proper good look at the detail so let's have a look at the detail of this uh little 040 so yeah we can start at the front um yeah we can see the parts that have been already fitted which is the vac pipe you can just see it there and the hook in the middle we do have sprung buffers on the model which do have quite a nice quality feel to them and we do have the uh, smaller uh, coupling there in the middle. We do have lamp irons uh, either side of the running plate there. We go a bit further up. The smoke box dart is there, separately fitted and picked out in a silver colour. We also now go a little bit further up again. We do have the uh, handrail which wraps around the front of the smoke box in a kind of an arch kind of shape. It does look really nice. And uh, yes, we do have another lamp iron at the side of the smoke box if you can just pick that out. So here's the side of the model then and again the detail is really really quite nice. So if you go towards the front of the model that we got quite a bit of pipe work just towards the front of the smoke box and we do have quite a few rivets as well surrounding the smoke box. We do have a separately fitted handrail there picked out in the silver colour again. Um, the wheel set is really, really quite finely detailed, and we've got the nice uh, rods as well. We've got the cylinders there at the front, 
and obviously we got some steps get, going up to the running plate looking really nice there uh, then we got the name guys I can't even say it so I'm not gonna say it again it looking really nice really nicely printed and you got the red lining and obviously the main color of the loco which is brown we go a bit further back then and we've got steps leading up to the cab we got separately fitted detail parts again with the handrails so now we're at the back of the model uh, oh dear straight away you can probably spot that the uh, the zero there on the number 90 is quite misshapen isn't it that's a bit of a shame but we're not going to dwell on that too much um, let's have a look at the other details at the back here we have a nice uh, separately fitted handrail across the model uh, we got a lot of lamp irons gosh there is a lot there uh, the glazing has been fitted really well it's nicely done we got sprung buffers again we've got the vac pipe the hook in the middle and also we have the smaller coupling again but again bit of a shame with that number like that hmm bit of quality control issues again there at Apple so here is the uh, top of the model now guys you can see more of the details and the handrails which run right the way around the locomotive it is actually looking really nice we got the steam dome we got safety valves we got the whistles and the glazing at the front of the model just there as well so overall detail of this model is actually very very good And here is a look at the uh, cab detail, very well detailed, re really looking nice. For such a small cab they really have fitted a lot of detail in there and uh, would be nice to get a driver and fireman in there just to uh, add a bit more. So very nice and uh, well detailed cab area. Right let's have a look at the running quality of this model. Now as usual this is straight out the box so be interesting to see how this little model runs so let's go down towards the footbridge and uh, let's see what happens oh wow now that is really nice I don't think you could ask for much better than that yeah really smooth running no hesitation when it sets off Actually, no motor noise to speak of either. I can barely hear the thing. That is really, really nice running. Fair play. Can also run very slowly and very reliably there too, which is what you want for a small sort of dock side shunting loco. So... Yeah, straight out the box, the running quality is perfection. Really, really impressed with that. So then, let's take the model around uh, the layout and see how it copes with the curves and the point work, more importantly, being such a short wheelbase. So then, little loco, B4, take it away. So here is just a quick demonstration, a, a really slow pass over a point to see how this model copes. No hesitation whatsoever. Yeah, now that's a really good sign that is.
And there we go guys, that was the little running session there with the B4 around the layout. Um, no problems to speak of whatsoever. And in that last clip you saw that I did a really slow run over over a point and it didn't hesitate at all. So that is a good sign. So that obviously means the model should run well pretty much wherever you want it to. That's very good. So yeah, really happy with the running quality. Something I did not notice at the beginning of the uh, review. This has a working firebox glow. I did not notice that. So really nice detail there from um, Dapple. It does run in DC mode as mine is only a DC model at the moment. So yeah, was not expecting that and that is really good. Uh, two points to speak of. Uh, it's not brilliant that the number at the back of the model is misshapen. Now that's um, non-existent um, quality control at Dapple because it seems to be quite a theme with Dapple making uh, quality control issues but it's not a major one so I'm not going to send the model back guys I'm happy enough with the overall model so I'm not going to uh, uh, make a massive fuss about that the other thing the model doesn't really have much weight to it um, which doesn't make any difference to the running quality which you've seen um, and it's not going to pull very much being that light, but then an 040 probably wouldn't pull a huge rake of coaches, would it? So, to be honest, I'm not too bothered by that, but it would be nice if it was a bit more weight in the model. But there we go. Um, out of 10 then, do you know what guys, i got to give this a 9 out of 10. It really, really is a lovely model. Uh, just that mark off there for the weight and that slight mess up <laughs> with the number at the back. But overall, guys, it is a really, really nice model. And I recommend you going out and buying one. Really, really impressed. Now, just before I end the review, you might have heard a lot of noise in the background. Uh, I've got a building site opposite the house, which is really, really starting to annoy me now, guys. It's taking much longer to do any kind of videos here. And they just tend to wake the whole street up um, between seven and a half past in the morning. So if you want to send them an email, just please to tell them to shut up. They are Love L. That's the name of their uh, business or whatever the kind of rubbish they're running. But yeah, send them an email, guys. <laughs> just tell them to shut up. Obviously, I'm just messing with you guys, but it is getting a bit annoying. So then, there's the end of the review. Really, really nice model from Dapo. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the model. And if you do have one, let me know what yours is like and how it runs and stuff compared to mine. So guys, I'll be back here at Jubilee Road or on location very soon. Bye everyone.